that always kind of creeps me out. But recording. Okay, what do I do? Do I, do I have to hit got it or something here? Or was... All right, so, okay. All right, let's go. Um, so before we get into Fire Smart Week, I just wanted to just touch on the sprinkler test. It seemed like uh, we had a lot of participants and um, we didn't blow up any water lines or anything. So that was good. Um, the one thing that uh, I said out a couple of things about what we noticed around it just um, intuitively, but we we're thinking maybe this might not be a bad annual thing to get people thinking about where their sprinklers are and get them up on their houses at this time of year and then just leave them there for the summer. But um, I think probably what we'll do at some point is just put out a message on ProWile and get people to respond whether they have um, sprinklers so that we can start creating a bit of a database. It seemed like most of the sprinklers were in the north end of the island and not too many in the south end. So whether that's accurate or not, we're not 100% sure. But um, anyways, I think uh, I think it's a worthwhile thing to keep doing and and um, and just start uh, tracking where everybody is. And I'm sure the fire department would be interested in knowing who has sprinklers and who doesn't. So thanks everybody that participated there. Um, so yeah, this is uh, this is the wrap up for for a fire smart week. It was uh, pretty much a full week of action here. So um, once again, thanks to, uh, to everybody that participated, uh, our contractors, MJR, they, they do such a great job for us. And um, they always kind of find something extra to do that helps helps out the island. They love coming here and and uh, it's we've kind of got into a bit of rhythm with them. And so this year, any of the metal metal stuff that showed up, they put it in the back of their truck and took it off the island. And um, they also, as they were going around chipping, they were grabbing the, the piles of that go to the bins and throwing them in their truck as well. So, so it made it a lot easier for everybody else to um, tidy up the piles. So, so that was awesome. Also, Larry Wardle is uh, very, very accommodating. Everything always doesn't go quite as smooth as we would like. So he's, uh, he's been very good about uh, waiting or starting earlier or fitting us in. So that's great. And Milner's has been very cooperative with the soil and with the bins. Bit of a glitch this year with their bins, but uh, we survived. So yeah, so they're all all very good contractors and, and I think they, uh, they enjoy coming over here as well. So and we do have our, our two main partners, um, City Parks and City Fire Rescue. And uh, I'd have to say that for two organizing or two city uh, components, of the, I guess they're in the same same city, but um, they do work together really quite well. And, and uh, we were able, because there wasn't as much chipping this year, they were able to uh, deal with a couple of trees that were outstanding from last year. So, so that kind of saves us a few nickels on the uh, fire smart money to the parks. We'll be paying for, for a day of the crew being here and stuff. So. So yeah, they're uh, they're getting along well, and they're certainly you know we're getting good value for our money, so that that's awesome. Um, and then I always like to mention some of the islanders that have really uh, stepped up. Thanks to to Kelvin for um, running the excavator this year. Doug has hurt his back, so he's he's out of commission for a while. So we're hoping he'll be back for the fall there. But um, Kelvin did a great job there rolling the bins and. Also, thanks to Paul for letting us use his excavator again. That's uh, certainly when you compare uh, how we were loading the bins the first year to having the excavator do it, it's <laughs> saving a lot of uh, a lot of effort. And and of course, uh, thanks to Brenda and Jim and and Ken Pepperdine for running around the island and picking up stuff. And Neil and Kathy uh, always uh, always seem to have to do a lap or two as well. So. Uh, so thanks to everybody and thanks to Ray for letting us use his trailer as well. Um, but I guess the main thing is just thanks to everybody who from the island who's been participating and, and um, you know, not only working to fire, fireproof your, your property and stuff, but 
but um, all those hours that you're you're spending and, and getting over to meal, it really helps us um, with our budget from year to year. Our budget's been going up every year, and and um, when we submitted our hours last fall, they uh, they were absolutely astounded that a uh, a place a community of 350 people could generate so many hours. So um, we get all our funding very quickly and we got an extra 500 bucks this year that, to spend on uh, cookies and drinks and stuff at the, uh, at the dog park and stuff. So that was, that was really great. So, and you know, the best part is it gets everybody out, gets some fresh air and so many new people participating that everybody gets to meet each other. And, and uh, so, yeah, I think it's got a lot of benefits. Um, generally there, there's something uh, uh, each fire smart thing that there's somebody that uh, we, we just have to uh, point out because either they've made some super neat piles or they've done this or that. And I think the, the person we, we should recognize this year is a, a lady named Lucy. Probably a lot of you people don't actually know her yet. She um, just bought the house down by the, the circle, the, the log panel boat house. And She's just spent hundreds and hundreds of hours just cutting all the brush and, and doing just so much work around their place. And actually did a ton of work in the park as well. So yeah, so um, she, I would say she probably doubled the next closest person for how many hours she, uh, she put in there. But uh, yeah, so that was pretty awesome. Um, we figured that we uh, generated about 25 tons of material through uh, either that was chipped or or the boards or anything that ended up in the bins and seems like an awful lot but um, it's actually probably just a bit over half of what we've been generating the last couple of years and we're we're going to uh, have a booth at the uh, June 4th event at Beacon House and uh, so we're starting to collect pictures and, and make up a bit of an album for People can see all the different things that have been going on on the island the last three or four years. And, and uh, man, when you look at the pictures of the first year and the second year of uh, how much stuff ended up down at the dog park, uh, you know, we were, we were talking about 80 tons or so, you know, and, and so we've really, I think we've really done a good job of, uh, of reducing the amount of combustible material uh, on our residences and stuff. So. So that, you know, being, being less is actually a good thing. I think it's not that we underachieved. I think we just, uh, we're just making progress. So, um, so that the spring program obviously focuses on, um, on private lots, but maybe, you know, maybe since we're getting control of that, maybe we can tackle a, a, um, a park or, or some boulevards or something in the spring. So. Um, so our fall, our fall program will be focusing on, on one of the parks and uh, we'll still, you know, still obviously do the private stuff as well. But um, yeah, I think we are, as a community, we're making, um, we're making really good progress. And I think uh, a couple of meetings, uh, we've, for the last couple of meetings, we've communicated that our plan is now um, Kind of, we've gone through the first three years of our of our fire smart plan. Now we're looking at adding another three years on, and and um, so we're going to revisit revisit our plan, look at what still needs to be done on the island, and then rough out where we want to go, and then have a community meeting this this summer and get everybody's input into um, what they think. Um, obviously, the uh, the elephant in the room from the First meeting is the boulevards and, and how we deal with that. Um, but uh, yeah, I think uh, when we first started this program, there was a lot of apprehension on what things would look like. And I, I do believe that people are pretty satisfied with, um, with the work that's being done. So the conversation should be um, a little different, I think, the next meeting we have. So, um, so yeah, as I said, we're going to have our little booth on on June 4th, come down and see us, look at our pictures. Maybe we'll have a little bit more swag there for people. But, uh, and if we, you know, we're always looking for new members for our FireSmart board. So if you feel so compelled, just uh, 
just sign up. Yeah, and uh, have some cake and ice cream with uh, with everybody and have a good time there. So I think that is actually it for me, unless there's any questions, but uh, I think I'm gonna kind of turn it over to Wendy if, uh, if we're all good to go here. I think Wendy's there somewhere. <clears throat> oh, looks like Corinne's got a question. I just have a, a quick question for you, Rick, is uh, where's the best place to buy those um, those sprinkler systems? Is it online, like at uh, Amazon uh, has them, I've noticed, online? Has anybody tried to buy one, like? Yeah, Neil would probably probably know better than me, but uh, I think we've we've done a bit of both. But go ahead, Neil. Um, as far as I know, you can order them through um, home hardware, mm -hmm. and, um, maybe Amazon. Yeah, I saw them on Amazon. What's that? I, I did see them advertised on Amazon. Yeah. Yeah. So I don't know what they cost at home, home, home hardware, but I could look into it. Just wondered if somebody has tried to buy them outside of, um, you know, group purchases here. Well, yeah. home hardware is up, up in Brooks Landing. Um, okay. All right. Great. I'll, I'll look there first then. Yeah, there has been some people have bought them um, straight from either straight from the manufacturer or or through um, different retailers, and then we've done a couple of bulk purchases. So, and then the fire department's given us quite a few uh, lately. We didn't actually ask them for one this time, but uh, yeah, I mean, if there was enough people, we could certainly do a another bulk purchase. I think it isn't it the twenty or more Neil. I think isn't that the magic yeah. number? We needed 20 for a, for a bulk purchase. And um, I've kind of lost my uh, contact information for the woman we were dealing with there. Um, but uh, and if, I don't know if they would sell, if they would, I, I don't see why they wouldn't ship um, to individuals if, if you ordered through them, you know. Yeah, I think so. Well, we can we can get that information, Courtney, because we need to contact her anyways about uh, fixing bevs. Um, when anyways, so. well, um, if I can come up with a um, an address, phone number, contact, uh, email information, I'll I'll post it online. Awesome! Thank you so much. You'll probably like at your booth. Um, maybe there could be like a sign up sheet if people wanted like got suddenly super interested in getting a bunch and yeah, then yeah. sign up and have like a group buy again. Yeah, good idea. Okay, great. Thank you. That's great. <laughs> Thanks, Corey. Sorry, I was just writing that down. Okay, Wendy, we're turning this over to you, wherever you are. Oh, there you are. I think... Uh, Kate had a question about hours. How many hours there was all together? Who in the Kate, chat? Kate in the in the chat. She had she had asked how many hours uh, volunteer hours there were all together. I'm not sure. To find out. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Just over 1,700 hours. Wow. Mm -hmm. Impressive. That's yeah, great. Thanks. Impressive is right. <laughs> yeah, that is great. So um, thank you, everybody. We're going to do the draw for the gifts and prizes. And we got some really nice prizes donated this year. So I thank everybody for that. It's great. So I'm going to ask Gavin to draw. <laughs> I've got all the prizes in here. And then uh, Emily's uh, uh, kids can draw um, the names. This is for what prize? This is for what prize? So Melissa's yoga, Melissa has donated uh, one hour of yoga for up to four people. So if Emily right. wanted to draw. Can draw. Not switching over to us. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't make spotlight. There we go. All right, who do you got, Grant? Do you want to read it out, Renee? No. 
Corey Hansen. Oh, yay. Okay. You can't see it. Oh, no, because we're blurry. <laughs> okay. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Let's have to turn off our black brie. Now we have Thora's cheesecake. Uh, oh, wow. Okay. Right? Danny Di Provost. Danny. Oh, Danny. Danny. Yeah. Yeah. What the heck? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's close to home, anyways. And then we have uh, two soaps and a bracelet, kindly donated by Arlene. Grant just pulled one out. We've got Linda and Gary Jeffries. Okay, nice. perfect. And another two soaps and a bracelet that Arlene donated. We have two of them. Ooh. Rick, Scott, and Valley Hennel. Oh, good deal. Good. I don't want to. You don't want to read them. <laughs> and we have one twenty-five dollar gift certificate for Bucker Fields. And that goes to Dominique Sullivan. Oh, good. Yeah. Dominique. Dominique. Come on, Gavin. You can read one. <laughs> okay. You ready for this? One twenty-five dollar Bucker Fields card. I thought I had mixed these up. There's four of these, so. Sandy Crow. Sandy Crow. Okay. Oh, Sandy. Sandy Crow. Okay. okay. And the next prize is, oh, one $25 Buckerfield's card. <laughs> I'm not drawing very well. Maybe I'll fire him. <laughs> <laughs> Who's getting this? Marla Thurburn. Okay. Oops, sorry. And the next one is a Fire Smart t shirt and gloves. A coveted oh, the fire coveted Fire Smart t shirt. Wow. <laughs> Who will be the lucky person? Veronica. Veronica. Oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. You'll wear that with pride, I'm sure. Yeah. Oh, and the next one, the Dingy Dock Ferry Pass. Oh. Lori go. Quinn. That's a new name. Mm -hmm. Lori Quinn. Okay. okay. And the next prize, oh, another $25 Buckerfields card. <laughs> Gift card. That's got to be the last one. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Not the last prize, though. Nope. Ernie Davis. Ernie. Okay. Hopefully, these people are able. We are able to contact them. Yeah. yeah, I think Ernie's down by us. Oh, Wendy's cookies. Wendy's. Oh, four dozen. Oh, Four dozen cookies. And I will talk to people about allergies and preferences too. So Lynn Roberts. Uh -huh. Oh, oh isn't that interesting? That's great. I mean competition with her cookies. <laughs> should uh, should also uh, thank um, Nikki for uh, all the great cookies she made yes. for the dog park oh, there. Yeah. yeah. Like Wendy, good. like Wendy said, uh, they were pretty fancy for yeah, the dog park, but uh, they I were super there. delicious. <laughs> they were wonderful. And the next prize is the chimney cleaning from our own Mike Greensell. Chimney cleaning. Nice. He has a chimney cleaning and apparently a, one of his coveted um, pens in there. Ooh, sweet. Oh, I don't know who these are. Shannon and Trevor Gerner. Oh, Gerner. Sorry. Oh, okay. Yeah. Nice. They um, they live right beside. Well, they bought Doug Ruff's house. Oh, okay. Yeah. 
cone. And the last one and, is our. Yeah, last but not least, the pine cone basket from Arlene. Ooh. Arlene donated it. It's very beautiful. Tom and Jean Keeville. Oh, oh nice. nice. Yeah. There, we'll get Renee's idea and bring it nice and close. There we go. That's awesome. Well, and that would be yeah, nice so... Tom and Arlene. <laughs> yeah. Yes, I, that's what I thought when you were saying that. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I will get those prizes to people somehow. Um, yes, we, I think have, that's it. we have to ask Neil for some yeah. numbers, but yes. And thank you. We thought the soil was really good this year. Um, we thought a better quality than, than the fall. And um, yeah, and Nikki, she did a great job on the cookies. So thank you, everybody. Yeah, especially uh, how many prizes were donated for this mm -hmm. uh, this raffle it just like yeah. they just kept adding every day so yeah it was great super that everybody's uh, supporting our little program the best uh, best ways they can here it's awesome so absolutely okay well unless anybody's got any questions i think uh, i think that's a wrap for for the spring and then um, we will uh, Oh, there's Marla right there. Thank you. Well, Marla, you're uh, you got a twenty five dollar Buckerfields gift card. Yes. <laughs> Rick, um, I just had a couple of comments. Okay, yeah, go ahead, Neil. Yeah, so we've gone through this big rush here since uh, beginning of May, when all of a sudden nobody was sending hours, and all of a sudden they were coming in by, you know, huge numbers. Um, what's her name? Um, oh, down by the traffic circle. What, oh, Lucy, Lucy, four hundred dollars. Oh, wow, <laughs> yeah, but anyhow, um, this doesn't mean we don't do anything between now and, and September or October. You know, if you're out there doing any kind of work, um, just uh, keep track and, and send it in to me. I noticed when I was putting my sprinklers up, um, my gutters were just stuffed with debris. I had to um, sort of do a, a fast um, little clean just to, to get the sprinklers to stick in the, onto the gutters. So I probably have... Um, maybe 20 hours of gutter and valley cleaning to do um, once the weather stays dry and warms up a bit. <clears throat> so I'm sure if my gutters look like that, I'm sure that's probably um, common all over the island. There's so much debris in them. And cleaning gutters, cleaning valleys on your roof definitely counts. It's very important. Okay. Yeah, good points, Neil. Um, yeah, also, yeah, so if you're really keen on this stuff, like I say, there's always a vacancy on our on our team here. We uh, we welcomed Anne to our uh, our little group there last fall, and uh, she hasn't quit yet, so I think, uh, I think things are going pretty good. So um, what's, put you on the spot, Anne, what's your uh, impressions of our, our Fire Smart program so far? Here's she not there. I was amazed at the participation uh, that, you know, that just the soil day alone, like nine, upwards of 90 people stopped by at the North End site. And uh, yeah, people were very enthusiastic. It was kind of fun. And a lot, lot better than last year's selling soil. Oh my God, that was <laughs> <laughs> There was so much rain last year, we were just drenched. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, thank you, everybody. And uh, we'll, uh, like Neil said, keep plugging away, but uh, we'll send out some more information about our amendment for our plan and then about uh, what the park we're doing this fall and, and uh, go from there. So thanks again. 1,700 hours is pretty impressive. So you, you haven't yeah. all been watching the Leafs lose. So that's, <laughs> that's great. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Rick. All right. Thank Thanks, you. Everybody. Bye.